In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the importance of developing your personal leadership and lessons and tips to create opportunities and a quality reputation for yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Zachary Ford. If you're new here on this channel, we post content helping you guys with student motivation, student tips, and youth leadership. One of my recent videos I uploaded about a month ago in my how-to series, I shared with you guys three questions to ask yourself to discover your path in life. If you guys haven't watched that video, it'll be linked up in the cards here and linked in the description below, so I just suggest you go check that out. Anyways, coming up, I'll share with you guys four lessons of why everyone is a leader, including you watching today's video, inspired by a speech done by Dr. Miles Monroe back in 2017. If you're interested in watching the full video, click the link in the description below to link to that video and watch it for yourself. But number one, everyone is created to lead. Whether that's in a business you're going to start, God's plan for your life, and how God expresses that through you, whether that's through activities or hobbies you're really good at, so you can use those to influence, educate, and entertain people, even if it's on social media, or in person, whatever that is, hobbies are a great sign for that as well. Whether that's also in the way you interact with people, skills you have, there's something that you're good at that you can use to help other people that you're called to lead and create and inform people of, and only you can create that. Everyone has their own dreams, their own activities, but you're the only one who can create what's on your mind, in your head, with your visions, and coming specifically from you with God's plan for your life. So I encourage you to understand that, and if you have any questions or comments on that, leave them in the comment section below. I would appreciate your connections and your answers and responses and communication. For number two, trapped inside every follower is a hidden leader. In the video I shared with you guys earlier, Dr. Miles Monroe was explaining that we all may be followers of something and we all believe we're followers in some way, some way or another. And we all have our own leadership of some sort, like I was sharing with you guys for lesson one. And society calls us to be followers and believe that we're only followers and not leaders. And only some people are built up to be leaders and are capable of those skills and that leadership, whether that's through entrepreneurship or business or whatever that is. And that's simply not true. For some people, they have that belief system, but in all actuality, if you look in the big picture, that's not true at all. And yes, you can believe that, but if you go outside of the box, outside of your current beliefs, you can be a leader and you're called to be a leader and this is what you need to be doing. And this can be you as well. And I encourage you guys to listen to this and follow this and really make a change. And not just make a change, but make consistent differences and consistent actions that represent a leader, represent who you are, represent your truth and your values. And make that who you are, make that what you do, make that what you share and this will make you a very well-off leader according to dr miles monroe and again check out the video linked in the description below to go deeper and further on what he specifically has to say about this number three you were created to lead and designed to dominate in the video once again dr miles monroe was explaining that you don't evolve into a leader but you were created to be one and God had leadership in mind when he was creating you. And that what makes that's what makes you special. And that what makes what you're learning and what you're applying and what you're leading so significant and important and important because God had leadership in mind for you. And you're the only one watching this video that can change your life for the positive and for the better in through through God's plan for your life. And you have to accept that and you have to take action on that. And this is why God created you to lead, created you to be a follower, but 
have the self-awareness that you are a leader and take action and step outside of your box and lead whatever way that is like i was explaining in lesson one so hopefully that one served you guys well if it did make sure you guys leave a like and move on to number four lastly for number four true leadership starts with self-discovery dr miles monroe was explaining that you have to discover and experiment and just take action to the things and the goals and the activities you want to pursue and you want to accomplish even if you don't accomplish them well what dr miles monroe is explaining that the path to self-discovery and growing yourself as a leader and as an individual and for god's plan for your life you just have to experiment and explore and take the small actions that'll lead you to becoming a greater leader that'll lead you to becoming a better and more influential and inspiring person in God's eyes, and not just in your human eyes, but in God's eyes. God created you to lead. He got God created you to serve and give and be kind. And that requires you personally to become a leader and take action and step out of out of your your place that you are now. And maybe that will take small steps, but in small ways find ways to lead and find ways to apply God's plan for your life and make things happen. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what strategies and leadership skills you guys have and that have helped serve you personally and grow you as an individual and as a leader. I would love to know what you guys have to apply and have to share as it will help not only myself but everyone here watching as well. Now I'm going to share with you a recap of what we just learned and following this, four tips and qualities and characteristics of a quality and phenomenal leader. Here's the four lessons up on the screen here. Number one was everyone was created to lead. Number two was trapped in every follower is a hidden leader. Number three was you were created to lead and designed to dominate. And lastly, number four was true leadership starts with self-discovery. Now guys, for the last part of the information, I'm gonna share with you guys the four tips I promised you guys earlier in the video coming soon. For number one, you're approachable. You have a positive open spirit and vibe and energy to you and you're an open book for resources and for advice and people go to you with their questions and with their ideas and to receive your feedback and that's so amazing because to know that you are an educational person that you are a trustworthy person just puts yourself up into a good place with a good repu reputation and this just sets you up for future success and opportunities that come your way and for number two is you do what you expect from others it's the golden rule do unto others as you wish they do unto you and this is so important because showing up when other people ask you to do things and ask you to be a part of something and you commit to that and you express with your words and with your actions and your commitment that you're going to do something and then you build that and sometimes that's just part of life but other times that may just be excuses or you may just whatever whatever is blocking you and that stops you from taking that action that may result in failure and in loss of trustworthiness and loss of accountability in your in and how people perceive you. So this is why do unto others as you they wish do unto you. So if you want people to be productive with their work so that you can be productive and get things moving forward, then that means you have to do your part and be productive with your activities and your part so that the other person can know what know what's going on and you can get that feedback going on and going forth so for number three you're accountable you get done what you say you're gonna get done so i just realized i kind of started talking about this in number two but it is kind of similar do unto others what you wish do unto you which is the same as kind of accountability right is expressing to others what you want to receive in return right and taking actions and being that that person and being that person that's giving and being that person that you aspire to be that you say you're going to be that's successful 
person you say you're going to be. And yes, there's those days that are hard that you're not that, but there's days that you just don't take action on that. You've had the opportunity and, and you're losing it. And that's why staying accountable and having actions and having goals that you're pursuing every day and moving forward to, and even in the smallest ways, that's so important to keep on track and keep in check because if you don't keep that in check, then life isn't going to serve you in the way that you want it to. And many times it doesn't, and God doesn't let you have your way all the time. And he does give us the the freedom to make the actions we want to take, but he also has a plan for our life. And if we don't be accountable to his plan for our life and what we say to others that we're going to achieve and that we're going to say we're going to do actions that we say we're going to take, then again, like I was saying earlier, that lack of, or that, that downfall of trustworthiness and accountability is, is going to hurt your reputation. So stay on track and this will serve you well. Lastly, guys, for number four, you guys are decisive. And if you guys are watching this video and you're decisive, maybe maybe you're not as decisive as you think. So <laughs> being decisive is such an important skill because when it, whenever an idea comes to your mind, whenever a plan or a goal, something you say you're going to do, and all these ideas come to your mind, all these things you want to accomplish, all these things you want to to make a reality if you don't take action on them and be decisive and just make the next move like in my last video that i shared with you guys about gary v uh he was i watched a lot of his content lately and some of the things that he talks about is just experimenting taking action being decisive and whenever an idea or something you want to do comes to mind just <laughs> taking action putting in the put, putting in the effort putting in your energy and your time and your focus and making something up and seeing if it works for you, seeing if that's your passion, seeing if that's your purpose and seeing if that's your goal and something you really want to achieve and that God has planned for your life in some way that he's inspiring you and encouraging you to do and take action upon. So that's all the four tips so far. So if you enjoy this part, I'm going to jump into a recap. So number one was you're approachable. Number two was your, you do unto others that you wish they do unto you. So that golden rule, you do what you expect from others. So number three was you're accountable. And number four was you're decisive. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you check out my how-to series linked up in the cards up here and linked in the description below. I have two more videos in there that talk about how to discover your path and career in life. And number two was how to manifest your dreams into reality with choices. If you're interested, make sure to go check those out. Also guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment down below how this video impacted you and how you're going to apply these tips into your life and which ones applied to your life and what you believe helped you in this video. Have a blessed rest of your day and your week and I hope to see you in the next episode. I don't know why I'm feeling stressed right now, but I'm just getting shivers right now and it is not doing me well. <sighs>